Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome to Thor Ragnarok trailer number two. Uh, okay, so uh, thanks, IGN. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I I I don't know, man. Like, okay, here here's my problem. Okay, uh, as I've said in the past, uh, a lot of trailers don't necessarily mean more hype. You know, like okay, so for like critics like me or like audience like general or like more audiences who like watched a lot of movies we know that you know if we get too many trailers we're go we are gonna have the whole movie already so i i know what they're doing okay they're they're still generating hype and all that and this is just actually a really business move uh and you know it's just to keep things fresh for the audience um to, to watch it in the future i get it uh, but the thing about it is, like, you know, you, you can still do a lot of teasers. I mean, like, you do one teaser here, one teaser here, one teaser here. That's what I think a trailer should be, you know. It's, it's not supposed to do a lot. It's supposed to be very minimalistic. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say about this. Anyway, uh, yeah, so if you remember my first trailer, uh, we watched it together with um, Arif. Uh, my friend, uh, he he reads the comics a lot, and we we discuss this a lot. Um, and for me, it's, it's gonna be the generic kind of like the um, sci-fi, like generally the sci-fi area with the um, whole thing and all that, like the um, whole like visuals of the set and everything, which is like the Asgard that we had in the first one as well. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll watch it again, and uh, I'll I'll tell you guys more about it at the end. So uh, yeah, let's go. Like for me, I guess it's more on the um, the oversaturation of things. So much has happened since I last saw you. Mm -hmm. I lost my hammer like yesterday, so that's still pretty fresh. <laughs> you, you totally obliterated him. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> okay, I always, I always love that. Ah, uh, fuck. He's a fighter. That this girl is hot. I'm not gonna lie, like. <laughs> I am <laughs> we're, we're impressed as well, like I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Girl be fine. What were you the god of again? Oh shit. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. There, there, there is some stuff I I really like in here. Uh, for example, the the part where uh, <laughs> you know he's like trying to like fist bump and then uh, <laughs> Bruce Banner just <laughs> that was funny for me. I don't know. <laughs> the little things always get to me. Anyway, um. 
<laughs> okay, here's the thing. Like, okay, like let's let's go back a little bit, <clears throat> and let me just like find the uh, find the um, timestamp here. Uh, okay, so now we know how he gets to this point, as in like how he gets to fight with Hulk, and this was what I was talking about, like. You know, you you can do things differently and not reveal a lot of how the plot happens. You know, this is a, a an an unwrapping of how the plot happens. How um, Hulk uh, and Thor fought, um, and that this is one of my biggest gripes for me because I'm like, ah, now I know like how he how his how his uh, hammer was crushed because that's one of the things I was talking to Arif about is like okay we don't really know that but what I was thinking is maybe it's gonna be in the in the middle because it's it's definitely looking like a middle scene because this is always like the like it's a it's a it's a way to shoot the scene because this is very much a middle scene because it's at the peak of the climax and then uh, the uh, the part where they fight the um, the big beast is down on the climax. And meanwhile, the part where he meets Hela, I I don't know if I'm saying that name right, Hela or whatever, uh, the goddess of death apparently in this. Um, I asked him about that and I think he he did tell me that I just forgot. Um, but yeah, it's it, it would be normally on the rise so based on a writing point it is making sense here but it also is a shame for me because i'm like i don't know which point specifically because on the scale of going up you can have it here like at the really bottom or like in the middle that is going up or the really like the where the action is really going and then it comes to this where the action really peaks and then we fall and plateau because it's you know after that and then you know dialogue and dialogue and then we fight the big boss at the end like a video game uh but this one i i know where it's gonna be now it's gonna be it's gonna be the the kind of like in the middle because it, it seems that they're gonna meet uh loki as well and uh they try to fade fade me up but i, I know it's gonna be just in between after this fight and also something that pads it so that it's a reflection to that so uh, based on these two trailers I don't even know if I'm gonna go watch the movie because like now I think I've seen the movie uh, because of these two trailers and um, yeah this, this is one of the things that I'm really concerned about there are some funny moments, yes. The part where, you know, he's talking about the fight and everything. And uh, he's like, nah, I, I won. And like, <laughs> it's him uh, falling back. So, yeah, this part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound right. He's like, fuck. He, he knows. Uh, so, yeah, that was funny, you know, like, that's something I'm like, yeah, like, Marvel knows how to do its comedy. She, she doesn't look too happy. I mean, like, okay, she's a villain and everything, but she, she looks a bit like, you know, she, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna, like, die anytime soon. And maybe that's, uh, that's a side plot, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of just disturbing me. I mean, you know, it's a villain, whatever, but yeah, that's just my my gripe. She, she is hot. Uh, she, this girl here is freaking fine, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so she, she looks badass. Like, I think she's gonna be fighting as well. And then uh, we, we see this part. So this part is gonna be definitely in the, nearing the third act and everything. Where... He's gonna get some of his powers back or something like that. And we don't know what happened to Odin actually. So... And uh, anyway, I didn't watch Dark World. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. I, I mean like, you know, I was, I was like, should I watch Dark World or not? I, I don't know. I didn't watch it in the end. Uh, but yeah, this this one seems to be like the um, fun one, and you know it's uh, it's reminding me a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy. So 
maybe if it has more of those elements, I, I may be opposed to it because it's, you know, like Guardians of the Galaxy. Why, so why do I need to watch this? I, I'll just watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and uh, yeah, the um, um, the guns and everything is pretty. It's pretty awesome, but it's just like re like just reminding me of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, and then uh, yeah, these parts right here where she's coming in. I think she's gonna turn into the big beak, uh, the big, the beak, the big monster in the the end there. And uh, this part is just like the the whole like hero standing thing that I kind of like roll my eyes now nowadays. Uh, but this this scene was friggin' awesome. Like she's she's asking like oh what 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 god are you again? And then like Thor just comes down with the yeah with the with the lightning and everything. And there's lightning in his eyes. Oh that's fucking awesome. Okay that that. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm down for that. Like, that is such a good visual. Of course, it's CGI. You can definitely see a little bit there. Uh, but one thing I, I'm really surprised at is that, um, you know, Marvel can integrate its CGI really well. So I'm like, why why doesn't DC, like, study that? Like, really do... Or, you know, if they don't want to copy Marvel, study the, the War of the Planets one. Because that's really, really good. So, I don't know what's happening. But, like, this but this scene is still very, very nice here. I, I like it. Uh, so, this is definitely nearing the third act. The third act, the second part, the second to last part. Because it's coming down the plateau, right? So, it's, like, here. And then the ending part is going to be the... Um, the the big beast uh, so this is just uh, the part where they make a lot of dry humor and uh, this part is gonna be the ending where Hulk is gonna fight this guy as well and then well I'm not sure, really sure if it's um, if it's the monster from Hela uh, but yeah I don't I don't really know that I'm not really sure I'll have to double check with my friend uh, and then it's this is definitely definitely the ending so yeah um yeah that's my two cents on it I, i'm i'm really impartial to this like i'm just like yeah I'll, I'll probably still go and watch it but i'm i'm not gonna be too happy if it's if it's gonna be the same as the trailer because that's one of the things I had about Wonder Woman. Like we got too many trailers, and like we we were oversaturated by it, and we 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 saw everything that was gonna happen in the movie for me, for me, only Walter. <laughs> um. So yeah, guys, uh, that's about it. This is uh, Thor Ragnarok. It comes out in 2017. Thank you IGN for the fantastic Comic Con uh, trailer here. Um, so yeah, you can go check out his channel. Uh, I'm just checking if uh, he knows when uh, the um, official release is going to be. But I can always Google search <coughs> uh, Thor Ragnarok. Ragnar Ragnarok. Eh, close enough. <laughs> I was gonna put O here. Uh, okay, so it's November third. Uh, November third is the official release date. Uh, November third, twenty seventeen, in your country, USA. So technically, I think for us, it's gonna be like November fourteenth or fifteenth or something like that, because it always takes like one or two days. But also, sometimes we are ahead of you guys, so sometimes it'll be like November second or first or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely have to check it out with my um, my date here because uh, my date is always um, later or earlier than you guys. So yeah, trailer date release date Malaysia. Um, general release date twenty sixth October. Oh, okay, we're 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 earlier than you guys. I don't know, I don't know how, <laughs> but <laughs> I guess. I guess I'll be watching before you guys, so yeah, general release date 26th October 2017. So yeah, this is just mine. So 
my country's one. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for staying tuned and me just checking the the release date and everything. Uh, and if you like this, please leave a like. And uh, if you like to see more, please subscribe to me personally, my channel. You know where to subscribe. You know where it is. Uh, it's the red button, obviously. And uh, if you would like to see, uh, if you like to see more notifications from me personally, you can hit the bell because you know YouTube demands it. Anyway, guys, that's about it, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next episode. See you then.